to share these sugar gliders, which I already have. Some mice, some rats. Yeah, I keep them in tanks at home. Tim Gatlin's um, a bunch baby of Baby piglets. Because they're arboreal, they like to climb. And I feed them a mix of dog food, hamster food, and rodent pot. Yeah, they're 175 a piece. They're okay if you, if you get them out. They do best in groups, but they're they're okay if you, if you just want one. Wow. Wow. Is in here. They're called micro squirrels. Micro squirrels. Oh, oh that's cool. Micro squirrels, huh? Yes. They're from the states. Uh, they're from Africa. From Africa, huh? Mm -hmm. Are they? Kind, do they kind of behave like sugar gliders? They kind of do. Yeah, they're arboreal, like sugar gliders are, and they like to climb. Is that okay. as big as they're gonna get? That's about as big as they wow. get. Wow. Yeah. They're so small. <laughs> I've never seen those before. They're really rare in the pet trade. You don't see them very often. It's really neat. No, they're not feeders. They're piglets. Looks like you've got some hedgehogs. Some hedgies. There's this animal. Doskasil? What? What's a is this this is that what it Doskasil? Or what? Is this a rabbit? Or what? It's a cavy. It's a Patagonian it's a cavy. Cavy. Yeah. Okay. It's just a baby. They get about three times that size. Wow. Okay. He's four months old and he's being bottle fed. He's used to humans. What is he? Are they um, kind of like, oh gosh. Um, they're rodents. They're rodents. So they're like uh, capybara kind yeah, of? they're very similar Cavy. to that. They don't get as big as capybara? They get almost as big as that, but not quite. Wow. Very cool. Are you guys uh, from Raleigh? Are you guys no, out of... No, from Virginia. Virginia, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Do you guys breed other uh, other animals? Or? Yeah, I breed the pigs and, and these guys and hedgehogs and sugar gliders. Okay. And these micro squirrels. Gotcha. But not cavy? Yeah, I do. Oh, you do breed cavy? Yeah, I breed those. Okay. Look at it. Very cool. I've never seen a cavy before. They're cool. I like them. They need, uh, are they kind of similar like capybara? I think they need like a pool or like... A... No, they're, they're not big swimmers. They, okay. um, they eat hay, guinea pig food, and rodent block. Okay. You probably couldn't keep one in a townhome, could you? You, you, can. Keep, you can. There was a girl that last year I went to that was walking one around the show. Like really? A dog. Yeah. They, and I've tried to harness train this one. It's just, it, it takes a little while to get them used to a harness. Yeah. Very cool, man. And you said this one's four months old? Yeah, four months old. Female? It's a male. It's a male? Okay. Any, like, behavior differences between the two? Not really. Kind of looks like a rabbit to me, but, yeah, but, it, but, it's, but it's unique. It, you know, they, are they friendly or temperament? Yeah, they are. They, they'll go right up to you. The adults will come right up to me when I go in the in the den. Okay. And um, they're very friendly. Gotcha. Very cool, man. Cavy. Are you selling this one or? Yeah, he's seven fifty. Seven fifty. Okay. What's their um, like their enclosure requirements? Like at full full size? I keep mine in a pen in the backyard that's like fifteen feet by forty five feet. Fifteen um, by forty five, and you how can keep high? Them in a in a, in a uh, regular fence. Okay. They're, they're, but you they're need like a yard. You need. The, okay. Yeah, or they can live inside with you too. I mean, really? the thing is, they're hard uh, to uh, totally litter box train yeah they prefer to go outside and go to the bathroom gotcha <laughs> they prefer to go outside yeah yeah okay so you can litter box train them too you can really yeah i gotta ask what is it it's a cavy a cavy uh-huh it's like a giant rodent oh yeah 
really nice California king snake. Trying to line somebody up to do Beautiful. The red stuff for us now. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, bearded dragons. Howdy. Beardies. Baby beardies. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great outfit right there. The little devil. It's <laughs> pretty funny. We're going to come back to our <laughs> These bingles? Yeah. Oh, look at the bingo! It's a bingo, bingo kitten. Yep. I think y'all were at the last route, yep. uh, Raleigh Repticon. Y'all been doing okay? Oh yeah, great. Were, were y'all out of South Charlotte or North yeah. Charlotte? Yes. Yeah, I talked to you guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything been going okay? Oh yeah, great. They're so cool, man. Yeah. They are super cool. How many y'all got uh, this time? Um, I didn't bring any to sell because my baby's only like four and a half. Four and a half. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just brought her. This is what I keep. Gotcha. Yeah, that's my baby. What else are you? Are y'all selling anything else? Or are y'all just just kind of network? Just them. Oh, just them. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. And the they got some uh, water monitors or something. Water monitors. Yeah. <laughs> got some water monitors, guys. Main Grove. The water monitor, Asian water monitors are neat. Those get quite big. Herman's tortoise. Yep, there you go. There's your turtles right there. Herman's. I have not seen a Burmese, but I'm sure they're here. Female pure breed Rex rabbits. They're Rex rabbits. Buster Bunny, ten month old Holland Lock rabbit. Wow, very handsome. Baby bearded dragon. Got some baby hedges. I love hedges. Look at it. I have a head oh, for myself. They're great. Carbon pythons. Blood pythons. Where are they from? Sumatra, Sumatra, Malaysia, and Bonka. Uh, All right, excellent. Here we go. Central American wood turtle, all pythons. See the white throat monitor, white throat monitor here. Happy yet to go to one of these? These are so fun, man. You gotta go. They're super fun. Savannah monitor. Savannah monitors. Oh wow, they have tomato frogs. Check them out. I love these. I wanted one of these as a kid. Yeah, guys, this is what I was talking about earlier about third parties. Like, you see these, you know, they, like, these don't look super healthy. So, I would uh, veer away from these types of vendors. Yeah, no, 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 no
Yeah. That's a pretty good deal on the Azuria. Outer blue. Outer gray. Citronella. Cobalt. Beautiful. Costa Rican green and black. Yeah, Friday. Like he's got, he's got, you know, any kind of bioactive plant you would want. And you, he can like build custom, uh, custom things for you too. Oh, he's still got the calciata. So I saw this one in Colombia. This is a very, very, very venomous animal. Hey, thanks for the share, Dana. When is the next show in Charlotte? I think it's in like two, three weeks. Yeah, you can just check their website. Uh, here's your HMAC. Here's your HMAC down here. Extremely aggressive, venomous old world. There are many species of some of the big pot, if BDS, some of the big non dudes or brachypomas, those animals. Check out this uh, brachypoma classy. But that would be a beautiful. Here's a Mexican red rum. Loggins, these are dirty hair kickers. Here's your uh, he's on SP Blue. These are incredible animals. Your giant amphibetus. Into a container like this or this, and Under you're just very slowly graduating them into the larger Green Bird Eater. Until they're close to maturity, at which point you can make them. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Follow us. North American Giant Millipede. Um, you know, so yes, for, for what you have now, as far as the twenty all, uh, you know, I wouldn't recommend Bumblebee anything millipede. under an adult size. Um, you know, most of these specimens, again, should be kept in something this size for for some time before you're ready to change. Check them out, guys. We might be in six months to a year. Pretty cool. Oh, wow. Aww. Wow. Any teas? Yeah, we just should so. Bunch of axolotls, guys. I've got an axolotl at home. Are these retics? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Reticulated pythons. Okay, the reticulated pythons are big and huge. Panther paw. Hey, thanks for the panther paws. Cool. Guys, okay, so these are these are reticulated python morphs. So these get look how unique they are. Really unique. Really cool. Very unique. Really If I had more space, man. If I had more space, I'd get a retake. They just get huge. Used to be a tea guy. What's the name of that rap? That was a cavi. C A V I. South American road. Uh, South American giant road. Thanks for the share, Gina. Xander's a meanie. Xander's not a meanie. I do like it because it's like one time. Look at all these. Santander Dwarf Squirrels, according to Google. Really? Okay, thanks for sharing the uh, 
scientific name. Hey, thank you so much for the 10 sub stars. Appreciate that very much, Shan. Yeah. A lot of beardies here. What are these? Chlorohexidine reptile safe uh, cleaning solution. Important. Every reptile owner should have those. Grass. Can you feed a snake this? No, I don't think so. Right now they have to, which is nice, because they get to see them now. Hers is a spiny flower. Which I would mind. Got these uh, bioactive plants. Any velvet spiders there? Velvet spiders. Ah, I don't know. Can you give me a scientific name? Are you talking? Is it a jumping spider? Is it a tarantula? Is it a true spider? There's a granite jumping spider. I've got two monstrous females, and I just haven't been able to find males. They haven't done an import from Suriname. Poor guy. Yeah, these milk snakes. Beautiful milk snakes. Is there any frogs? Yeah, a lot of frogs. Viper boa. Milk snake. Bull snake. I have no idea where you put the red power thing Dwarf shielded agama. There's agamas back there. That's for the shares. Yeah, it's yeah, a little code of money. Yeah. Yeah. Little code. Can I pet the sister? I want to Look at him. Probably going to tell you now. The cutie. Code Mundi. I wish I could have a retake. <laughs> They're great. I think I can file snake. That's a unique snake. Very cool. Never seen one of these. Can file. What's the name of your TikTok? Uh, Tarantula Graham. Okay, uh, mine is Blizzard's Lizards. Blizzard's Lizards, yeah. okay. Blizzard's Lizards. So check us out. Blizzard's Lizards, okay. I would probably be interested in talking about this. Look at this lychee, wow. That is the coolest lychee I've ever seen. That's a, that's a nice lychee. Oh yeah, he's, he's my favorite, he's my boy. He's the father of all of these. He's the father, huh? Yep. He's about nine years old. Nine years old. Oh, hey, buddy. Look at him. They're my favorite gecko. Mine too. They're just, they're expensive. Well, I'm starting to work with leaf tails, so I like the leaf tails quite a bit too. <laughs> but yeah, so expensive is true. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're just. But the maintenance on them makes it worth it. Like, you don't have to give them insects. You don't have to give them any kind of live animals. It's just so I, food. So I travel a lot for work. Um, mm -hmm. And I, you know, I'm sometimes away from home for three, four days. Yeah. Oh, but fine. they still have to be misted. Not really. So I, the way I have them set up is I have bioactive terrariums where the humidity stays very high all the time. Okay. So usually what I'll do is I'll fill a water bowl up and then just mist really heavily before I leave. And they're usually good for three to five days. Really? Yeah. Okay. The ones that are more sensitive to humidity are the, the leaf tails. Like I have to be in there misting them twice a day, every day. And if I miss a day, yeah. they die. So, so you guys don't... Uh, 
you, you guys don't use like misting, like automated misting? No, so misting. I will, once, once my, I have a bigger population of leaf tails, I'll probably set up something automated. I was looking into it this week, but I just haven't gotten around to actually making a decision on it. Gotcha. But for the crested geckos and the lychees, I, I've never really felt a need because the bioactive terrariums hold enough humidity in. When you say leaf tail, is so that a, that's a separate species? It's a separate species, so it's a, a gecko from Madagascar. The ones I'm breeding are from the northern tip of Madagascar. They're called uh, Europlatus abenawi. And they, like that's one shedding. I have, that's sort of what they look like. I have never seen one of yeah, these. Yeah, I've never seen one wow. of these in a show. I've never anywhere. seen one. If you want to see dozens of pictures and videos of them, cool. I post them all over. Feel free to take one of those. Okay. Um, so I, I've been kind of posting educational updates on, on these geckos, how they look, how to do sexual dimorphism, gotcha. what they eat, how do they behave, all of that sort of stuff on my page every so often. Um, one day I'll have more time for it, but... Yeah. Education is a big part of what I do, so. Gotcha. I yeah, like same to, here. Like yeah, to, I'm, a, I'm a I'm a I'm a tarantula um, kind of content creator. I work oh. full time as an engineer. Oh, fantastic! But... I, I'm a professor at Duke. Oh, you're a professor at Duke, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah. I, I work uh... with, I'm a microbiologist. I work with microbiome and complex communities, and the reptiles have always been just something I've really? worked with my whole life. That's really so cool. So one day I, I plan to integrate the two and look at the microbial communities of these animals and how it influences the metabolism because the metabolism is so unique. Yeah. How can we utilize that as a tool for agriculture or for human health? Pretty high metabolism? So, so low, very low metabolism. Low metabolism. Yeah, so they don't eat much at all. And they live for and 20 live to 30? 20 to 30 yeah, years. So he, lower metabolism. Nine. I still had his mother. His mother's almost 20. 20, uh, wow. I have a 26-year-old crested gecko at my house that's still producing eggs. Uh, so yeah, metabolism is very slow for this type of gecko. Mm. Um, they don't eat a lot. They don't need a lot of resources. They don't need a lot of protein, and they, they can go long periods of time without eating at low temperatures. Okay. So that's actually very beneficial for them in, in the wild because they don't know when food's going to come. Yeah. And in captivity, it makes them really low maintenance because if you miss a day, it's not the end of the world. So. Cool. So how long have you been teaching at Duke? Uh, so I've been in the field for <laughs> 20 years approximately now. Uh, I just started at Duke this month, actually. Okay. So I was at UNC for eight years. Um, in microbiome research there. Um, after I finished my PhD in Buffalo, New York, I moved down here to do postdoctoral work and took over a, a research core facility down there. Um, and now, now I'm over at Duke. But yeah, microbio. Microbio is my training. Okay, yeah, um, I'm a double then, E. And then I, yeah, my, my brother as well. <laughs> um, and then I kind of transitioned into the, the complex community. A lot of it's like genome sequencing stuff and looking okay. at the the identity of all these different microorganisms. Gotcha. And that's why I got into these in the first place, actually, because they come from these different islands. Yeah. So this guy's Moro Island, and all of these are pure Moro, Moro Islands. So my objective was, for every island in the archipelago, <laughs> I was going to get a colony of these geckos and sequence their genomes mm. to see what the genomic differences are in each island to then get a feel for how do those genomic regions kind of translate to the, to the phenotypic characteristics. And that's that's why I think lychees are so interesting. Because, they, yeah, they're so divergent. They're very, very, they very di yeah. yeah. The, the, whatever yeah. genetics give them that yeah. leathery yeah, skin. Yeah, is nobody knows. It is. Nobody knows anything about it because none of these genomes have been sequenced. Yeah. So maybe one day, we'll see. So this is the Madagascar? I so these are all New Caledonia. So these are off the New eastern Caledonia. coast of Australia. Okay. Uh, the Madagascar, the leaf tail geckos are, so you have Madagascar and you get this tiny little island right above it. And the, the species I'm working with are from that island. New, Cal New Caledonia. And no, okay. no, no. That's um, it's called Noze Bay. So it's it's okay. a, an island just north of Madagascar. So these are all New Caledonia. Okay. Uh, Have you? Did you get them from there? Or these no. Are bred? So these are all captive bred. Okay. Um, he is actually the first one I produced okay. uh, nine years ago. His mother was. His mother. His mother was. So I got her in a trade. I, I had a bunch of pythons, and I traded a couple of my higher end ball pythons for three adult Lichianas that this guy had. Okay. And he had pure lines from a an importer who got them. I think they're. He would be third generation okay. in the U.S. So his mother wow. was hatched in the U.S. from animals that were imported. It's like late 90s, early um, 90s? So she's, yeah, 90s. Okay. Um, I don't know when the actual import would have happened. I don't have any documentation of it. Unfortunately, it would be great to have. Yeah. Um, you got you got grad students here with you? Or no, you're no, just, no, no. These are just some friends of mine. <laughs> I got you. Um, no, That's my cool. grad students, so a couple of them are interested. Most of them are kind of on the hesitant side. Yeah. Not, not a fan of snakes. I actually have a couple of leeches in my office with you. Okay. So I have a bioactive terrarium built in the office. And you mostly research or teach? or? Um, so it's mostly research and administration. Okay. So right now I'm, I do a lot of collaborative sort of 
research facilitation. So for folks who don't know how to do the complex microbial community work, I teach the professors how to do it okay. so that they can write their grants and then I help them write their grants and oh, I help them cool. with the research publications. Very, very cool. And what was your name again? Like, I'm Jason. Jason, I'm Graham. Nice Graham, to meet nice you. Nice to meet you as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, my name's Tarantula Graham on all the oh, social awesome. media yeah. stuff. But, yeah, sweet. So, but to your point about islands, I have a tarantula species. It's called a Monocentropus balfouri. Okay. Socotra Island off of uh, kind of near, uh, near Yemen, like the, the western, northwestern part of Africa. Okay. Very unique very unique appearance right. it's very dissimilar from a lot of tarantula species on western african african coast so i don't know if you've ever seen animals on socotra island i have not yeah like that's I, that's that's I don't a travel whole enough. i'd like to actually do some of this so i have a friend i don't know if you know dave kaufman i don't he's a like sort of pseudo famous youtube celebrity he travels all over the world okay. and he goes to like he was in New Caledonia recently and he did this whole big thing where he was looking for these geckos specifically in the wild and he was he's kind of like he just does all this stuff and a lot of it's just educational yeah yeah, yeah. And I, I love that I think that's, it's great. That's, yeah, that's, he does a lot of that sort of travel the world and try to get videos and, yeah, yeah. and footage of all these different animals in the wild which I'd love to be able to do that it's really fun to yeah to get on get on these platforms and talk about you know you just just talk to people about you know because everyone there's a lot of people that are very passionate about there, this stuff yes that's very true a place like this is where you're going to find most of them yeah so yeah it's oh, yeah. awesome Absolutely. Well, it was really nice to meet you, Jason. Yeah, absolutely. Great yeah. to meet you as well. And I'll Beautiful. keep your card. Yeah, and, feel free um, to keep in touch. Just shoot me a message whenever, and yeah. I'll have to check you out on other yeah. platform you want. Yeah, uh, I'm on all of them. All of them? YouTube, right. TikTok, Twitch, cool. all, you know. Been, do a lot of live streaming, some video yeah, stuff. Right. I, I've only recently, like, I started doing it last year for fun. I thought about it, but, it, you know, the time. The time oh, man, it's, 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 it's a lot. So there's... Uh, you can do some research or you can do some very quick educational stuff with TikTok yes. and YouTube shorts, just really like five to 10 second videos. Just have a couple pop-ups. This is the scientific name. This is where it's from. Sure, just sure. like, boom, done. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. That, so like I work full time as an engineer, so like I don't have yeah, time exactly. to sit down and produce an entire amazing video. Oh, this, this is gonna be some good footage. Yeah, this is great. This like is these nice. these are great because Absolutely. you know, people get to see so many different types of species. But sure. Yeah, man, but best of luck to you, buddy. We'll, we'll be in touch. But yeah, we're, uh, <laughs> it was just a lot of fun, man.